Alright guys, it's Josh here with DesiredTutorials.com and after you uh, update your media module you're going to notice a couple errors so if you come to configuration file types and uh, when you come to any of the managed file display you get all these errors and there's a, a good way to fix it, there's a patch out there I'm going to show you how to do that all because I finally just figured out how to actually do a patch so the easiest way to find the patch is just copy up, just copy up to here or something, or we can go to, just copy that. I'm gonna open up a new tab, I'm tabbing, I'm gonna go to Google. I'm just gonna paste that in there. And the first thing that pops up is uh, this one, and it's, it's where the patch is actually located. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to do all this. So. The first thing you want to do is just download the patch. So I'm just going to put it on my uh, my desktop or something. I might already have one there. So desktop, I'm just going to save it. Once I'm just going to override it. And from here we need to actually uh, go get something called PuTTY. So we're going to Google. I'm going to get PuTTY.exe. And you can just get the top one, whatever. Shire is. Um, then you just download. I just download this one. I save it. Now that's actually my downloads. And that's all you have to do for that. You don't actually have to install it. And now we actually need to come to our uh, control panel, which I have in uh, Windows Explorer. I'm using HostGator to do this too. So, and this module is going to be in Sites. All modules and media, and the problem is actually in file entity, which you can't just do it right in this folder. You actually have to do it in file entity. So the first thing we want to do is upload that file into here. So we're gonna upload that patch file, and this can get pretty complicated, but let's just keep it really easy. Because um, I don't really know very much. So we're going to upload that. And it's done. Uh, now we're going to come to our actual downloads. Um, that actual uh, file we just got. The exe one. The putty. Which just looks like that. And you're going to click on it. It's going to bring you here. Which is a uh, host name for, or IP address. Then the port for me is 222. But yours might be 222 if you also use control panel. For host gator but you can ask your uh, the online support guy and he can give you all this information so let me go get my IP address and name alright guys so my username and password for this site well my username and IP address is that so this is gonna be whatever your login name is which mine would be Josh at whatever IP address it is but this one is Jacob at the IP address and you want it to be never that way when you leave the window it doesn't log you out so when you press enter and now the trick here is when you're actually typing, if you click here, it's still going to type, it just doesn't look like it. So don't let that trick you because it got me for a while. So type your password and press enter. Then you're going to be at your home directory in HostGator. And to change directories, uh, you're going to use change directory. Then we're going to go into our www folder. Once we're in that, uh, it's actually, uh, let me just copy this. We can use this. So, because when you come when you come log in, you're at your home. Then we went to the www, which is pretty much this one. Now we need to get into our uh, our sites, uh, all modules or whatever. And then we want to get into our media. And then, then this one, this uh, bug is in file entity, that file entity folder, and there's our actual patch. So I already have that copied, so we're going to come back to our little uh, putty thing. We're in the www folder, I'm just going to uh, change directory, and then I'm going to hit uh, right click the mouse, we'll paste it, I don't know, that's weird, and then press enter. Now we're all the way inside this folder. And the other code that you need to know is ls. And there's other useful ones, but I can't remember what they are. I don't really use this much. And this will show us what's inside this folder. 
And if you see, it should pretty much resemble that, which it does. Um, and this is the patch that we want to install. There's an actual code that you have to enter to install this. You can get it from Drupal, but let me go get it from uh, my little Word document. And I don't know if this is the right code that you want to use to install it, but it's just the one I used. It was patch space dash p zero space and then bracket and the actual uh, patch name. And once you press enter, then it runs the patch and says file to patch. The actual file to patch is. Um, this one right here. I mean, you can just copy it or you can retype it, doesn't matter. Well, so you right click to paste it in, and then you press enter. And. So the patching file, blah, blah. And now we're all done, that should be okay. I don't really know what much of this means, but that's exactly how, you, how I did this. Um, so now let's go back to our website. And let's just uh, refresh this page by clicking here. And the errors are gone. So that's how an actual patch works. And you can do it for all modules that have patches. And, and I'm just going to show you an easy way to do it because no one really explained it. The dumbed down version so I could figure it out. So I hope that's helpful for anyone else who's, who's confused. See you guys.